How far would you travel to take a photo with your childhood friends? And would you be willing to do it every five years for the rest of your life? Well, in 1982, a group of five teens from Santa Barbara made a trip to Copco Lake in Northern California. That one trip has sparked a unique tradition. NBC 5's Joe Camerlinghi has the story of the five-year photo. Five friends, same lake, and the same pose since high school. It sounds like a lifetime movie, and it sort of is. A photograph. Physically, it just captures a split second in time. What it actually represents, though, is undefinable. Just take this photo snapped of five friends at Copco Lake in 1982. I asked the family at age 19 if I could bring all my best closest friends up for a vacation for an entire month in that summer and to us it was kind of like that rite of passage. It was a fantastic trip and we happened to take this silly photo while we were here in 1982. Most of the group made it a point to make it to Copco Lake every summer but on the fifth year it once again was a special time. We realized that all five people from the original photo were planning to be here that summer. I said, hey, why don't we try and retake that photo again? And we actually videotaped it, did the whole procedure, and duplicated the photo. Thus, the tradition began. So for the last 30 years, every five years, they mark it down on the calendar to be there to all take the photo. I could think about, like, when I was the first photo, what my priorities were in life. And, you know, you kind of laugh about it and go, really, that was a priority? You kind of look and say, okay, you know, as you change, you know, your priorities in life have changed. It's really interesting to see the dynamics of, of how we change. But on the, also, come back here and we're all the same. So we're different everywhere we live, but we come back here and we're right back to being the same old guys. For some, this five-year photo tradition may seem a little odd, maybe even a little eccentric especially their attention to recreating the details. It's, it's the wrong color. What is it, a star? Well, it's no, it's because a butterscotch. It's, 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 <laughs> it's That's it's the same exactly. candy. It's the same candy. But it's not laying flat, though. But in a time of increasing superficial relationships and Facebook friends you've never actually met, this photo means so much more. This year, I put it on my, uh, my Facebook page, and we got a big response. And people have never heard this story. And kind of the, the theme that I see in the responses on Facebook is that people can't believe that we've stayed friends that long. This is the 2012 version of the photo, just taken at the end of June. Recreated teenage mean mugs aside, they all say they're happy and plan on keeping the tradition alive until the very end. They say pranks and great activities at the lake are the main reason they have stuck together as friends all these years. If you want to learn more, you can head to our website, kobi5.com. I've added a link to their website about the five-year photo. In studio, Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News. Pretty cool stuff there, huh? What a unique idea. Kind of a uh, genre of kind of stand by me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Love that.